Will you drop one of Naughty's unreleased songs? I've been wanting to do that for me, but for me, I'm not gonna say like for me, but for me, my son Didi, Didi, the one that got um, control of my son Naughty music, so I don't want to feel too. Yo, yo, yo. This is Peanut, Digital Baby Mom. Like, comment, and subscribe so you can pay for this motherfucking child support. Y'all know he broke his hand, so y'all know we need all that motherfucking money. Yeah. And don't forget, my name is Peanut. Show me some love, too. Mm -hmm. So, Didi Osama and the whole team, they got uh, unreleased Naughty Osama records. I don't know how many they got. That is, I wonder if they got 5, 10, 15, maybe 3. They got verses and they got records, which is dope because... Like I said, Nadio Osama didn't really drop too much music. He didn't have that much music out. But it's dope knowing that niggas had music kind of in a cut. Uh, so, Didi Osama, not Didi Osama. Sugar Hill Didi talked about it on Twitch. And somebody in the comments said, Didi Osama don't want to drop it because Nadi was better. That's what everybody say. Everybody say, yo, Nadi Osama was way better than Didi. Which is, that's scary to think about. Because, you know, when you look at people like that, say, yo, homie had that, a lot of potential. Because Didi... Osama's pretty good, you know, um, and the person that said that, I don't want to say somebody, that was O.Y. Kwan intern, so salute to him, but yo, uh, Didi Osama, I said Didi Osama, D-Dot was on Twitch, and they asked him about dropping the Nadi Osama song, and he said, you know, he want to do it, but Didi Osama ain't really jacking it right now, Didi don't really want to drop it, so he got to wait on Didi, now, Nadi Osama was talented and very, you know, he had a lot of potential and he didn't have much music. So, this kind of got me wondering, like, what's going on? What, what kind of songs is it? Is it hit songs? Is it, like, lyrical, spiritual, miracle? Is it, like, dope-ass sample songs? We don't know. And this really got me thinking about it. Me, personally, I always felt like this. Once an artist die, you should just let them go. But when they drop, you know, that Pop Smoke album, I understood it 100%. My whole perspective changed. Just because a person died doesn't mean that you have to let their art die. You can release their art out to the fans because people love the music. Didi Osama dropped his first project. You would think that, you know, he would have put one of them Nadi Osama features on there. But the Nadi Osama features, he probably waiting for him to even get bigger. Or maybe he want to drop a Nadi album. Who knows? It might be enough to where he could drop a Nadi album. Who knows? Or maybe a collab album with Didi Osama. And Nadi Osama, but the reason why Nadi Osama, the reason why Didi Osama is holding back, because he probably understands that, yo, this could be bigger than what any of these people could even imagine. And he might be waiting out to get more motion. He might be waiting it out to probably get it put on a record label or something like that. But the biggest lesson that we could all learn from this when it comes to Sugar Hill, D-Dot, Didi Osama, everybody, is to keep going. Keep going up, keep getting up. That's my new biggest slogan right there. KGU, keep getting up. Didi Osama up. died, and Didi Osama, D Dot, J Star Baller, the whole old wide, their whole family turned up and went up, made hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions. That will not bring back your family member at all. But when you go through things, you got to take it and make the best out of it. You feel me? They took it and they put Nadi Osama's name on a map. He passed away, but he's still living through his brother, still living through his family. A lot of people go through hard stuff in life. They fold, they quit, they start drinking alcohol, they get depressed. So I got to give it to Didi Osama and Sugar Hill D-Dot credit, you know, just for keeping it pushing, just keep grinding and keep going up because it is difficult to do. These young niggas, young, I don't even think they're 18 yet, man. They took lemons and they made lemonade. But anyway, rest in peace, Nadi Osama. Um, Didi Osama got some Nadi Osama records in the cut, so that's what's up. Digital Thugs, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.